Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Tianan and today I'm doing an unboxing. So this is the sci-fi fantasy mystery box from a box of stories. I have done an unboxing for this company before and just to give you full disclosure they did send me my first ever box which I will link up above if you want to check it out but I myself have then gone on to buy their sci-fi fantasy box. Just because I am predominantly a fantasy reader this box was limited edition and I just really wanted to see what they could give me. Because I have partnered with a box of stories before though I do have an affiliate link that you can click if you want a box for yourself and that will give you £4 off your first order so I will put the information on screen and in the description description box for you now but other than that let's just dive into the box. So this is what you get when you open it and as per usual I'm just going to read you out what it says on the box. So it says here 77 million books are destroyed in the UK every year. 83% of those are books pulped before they've been read. We want to save these amazing books from being lost in time forever. Every box you get saves four amazing books and you discover four incredible authors. So thank you for helping us in our mission. And if you don't know a box of stories is mission is to save lesser known books from being destroyed and so they can curate boxes with a load of different books by different authors to try and introduce you to works that haven't necessarily got the biggest marketing budget. Right I'm just gonna pop this box off to the side and then I'm gonna choose that books at random to show you guys. So first off I see a cover that really does intrigue me and so the first one I have to show you is The Human Son by Adrian J Walker. I can tell that this is a sci-fi straight away but how beautiful is this cover and also the spine is bright yellow which I really do enjoy and one thing I do love about the books in these boxes is that the majority of them are floppy paperbacks. Moving on though, I will just read you the synopsis for this. So it says, 500 years in the future, Earth is a paradise without us. The Earth was dying and only the editor could save it. Created to be genetically superior, hyper-intelligent and unburdened by the full range of human emotions, they succeeded by removing the cause, humans. Now the Erta are faced with a dilemma. If they reintroduce the rebellious and violent Homo sapiens, all of their work could be undone. They decide to raise one child, a sole human to decide if we should again inherit the Earth. But the quiet and clinical Ema finds that there is more to raising a human than she had expected. And there is more to humanity's history than she has been told. That actually sounds amazing. Sci-fi in general is very hit or miss for me, but this is one I can definitely see myself picking up. It is a chunky one though, it is almost 500 pages, so I feel like I definitely need to be in a specific type of mood to pick this one up. But I do actually have really high hopes for this one. And then what I've done in the past is I've gone on Goodreads and I've checked to see how many people have read this book and what the average rating is so I'm just gonna do that now. Oh wow okay so this one has 672 ratings and the average rating is a 4.20 stars which is very very high and I'm just scrolling through the reviews and they do look really promising so definitely a good start to this box. Next up we have another beautiful looking book. So this is what it looks like and it has this stunning foiling on the front as well and as you could probably see there this is The King of Elfland's Daughter by Lord Dunsany and this actually has an introduction by Neil Gaiman as well. This has me very intrigued. Just from the cover, I'm getting Celtic fantasy sort of vibes. I don't know if I'm just used to this sort of fantasy cover by now, but that is what I'm getting. I am going to read you the synopsis again though, just so we all know what the book is about. So it says, The King of Elfland's Daughter is one of the most beloved fantasy novels of our time, a masterpiece that influenced some of the greatest contemporary fantasists. The heartbreaking story of a marriage between a mortal man and an elf princess, it's a powerful tapestry of the fairy tale asking what happens following the happily ever after. And then we do actually have a quote by Neil Gaiman and it says the King of Elfland's Daughter is a book about magic, about the perils of inviting magic into your life, about the magic that can be found in the mundane world. It's a rich red wine which may come as a shock if all one has had so far has been cola. Okay this is definitely top priority for me now. It looks like a book that I'd normally pick up, it sounds like a book I'd love and I'm really excited to go on Goodreads and check the reviews for it. Okay so this is definitely a more popular novel. It has 6,390 ratings but the average star rating for this one is lower so it's 3.83 but the majority of the reviews are five and four stars so again one that has me really intrigued and I actually cannot wait to get to this one. Ooh, okay another one that definitely intrigues me. So this is the next book and it's The Fallen Blade by John Courtenay Grimwood. On the back of this one it says Venice 1407, a powerful city with powerful enemies. Duke Marco has the throne but his ruthless aunt and uncle rule in his stead, scheming against their enemies and each other. The pawn at the heart of 
their struggle is the Duke's young cousin, Lady Guiletta. When she is abducted by Mamluk pirates, it's an outrage that will trigger war. As the German Emperor and Mamluk Sultan gather their forces against the city, Venice is heading for a battle it will surely lose. Its only hope lies in a mysterious boy possessed of inhuman strength and speed, and a past wrapped in mystery. Another one that just sounds so good! I am loving this box so far guys, definitely a lot better than the last box I received, but I guess these boxes can be hit or miss, so I'm so glad that I've really liked the sound of all three books so far. I'm not sure if this is classed as historical fiction, I'm not sure if it's going to be historically accurate, but it does sound really intriguing, and the fact that it's set in Italy in the 1400s, I just want to dive in and find out what this is all about. So on Goodreads, this one has 1,634 ratings, and the average star rating is 3.25. So the lowest one so far, but to me, it still sounds really interesting, and again, I really do want to pick it up. And then lastly we have this one, and again, the cover for this just draws me in straight away. This one is The Trials of Solomon Parker by Eric Scott Fischel, and it says here that it's from the author of Dr. Potter's Medicine Show, which is a book I've never heard of to be honest with you, but if you're aware of that one, this author has this book too. For this one it says 1916 Boot, Montana, City of the Copper Kings. Solomon Parker is old, broken, and deep in debt to some very bad people. He's always managed to stay one step ahead of his last bad decision, but more than anything, he wishes life had turned out differently. Little does he know that for him and his young protege, Billy Morgan, that wish is about to come true. The above ones, the gods of the people, are bored. Their servant, Marked Face, is coming, and he's bringing his dice. Eric Scott Fischel, acclaimed author of Dr. Potter's Medicine Show, brings you a very different fantasy of destiny and damnation. Another one I feel like I would love. This box for me has been brilliant. All of these books sound so intriguing, I feel like I would have definitely picked them up in a shop if I walked past them, bar the first one. Maybe the colour would have drawn me in, but again, sci-fi I'm hit or miss with. All the other ones though I feel like definitely would have caught my eye and I would have picked them up and read the synopsis. It's just the fact that I have never seen them in a shop before which is so sad. And oh my gosh this book you guys only has 52 ratings. I thought it would have way more but what's promising is the average rating is 4.06 stars and the majority of the reviews are five stars, over half the reviews are five stars which again is very promising and it does make me want to read this book as soon as possible. I'm blown away by this box you guys. Like I said, it can be hit or miss whether the books in the box actually sound like ones for me, and this time it's been a massive hit. What I'm going to do now though, I'm going to go through the prices of these individually and tell you the grand total of all four books. That way you can see just how much you save by buying from a box of stories. This one is $8.99, this one is also $8.99, this one is $7.99, and this one is $8.99. So buying all of these together would cost you £34.96, and the sci-fi fantasy mystery box on the A Box of Stories website is just under £20, I think it's £19.70 or something like that. So you do actually save a lot of money. And and you'd save even more if you click the link in my description and use that code at checkout as well. I honestly don't know what else to say you guys, you know how much I've loved the sound of each and every one of these. I actually feel like these are all ones I will read eventually and in the meantime I might actually pass them on to family members to read because I feel like they would really enjoy these types of books, my stepdad especially. But yeah I'm so happy with the box this month. I do want to say quickly as well that a box of stories tracks the book that they've sent you so you will never get the same book twice which is something I was a bit apprehensive about but no they do keep track and that means you won't ever get a box with the same book you've once received, which is always good to know, and I'm really glad to have carried on my subscription with them. And that is it for today's video, guys. Please let me know, actually, out of all these books, which one you think sounds the most interesting. For me, it's probably these two. I don't know if you can see which ones they are. They are The Trials of Solomon Parker and The King of Elfland's Daughter. I feel like those are the ones that appeal to me the most, but I'm still excited about the other two as well. If you've stayed with me until the end, please do leave some sci-fi fantasy emojis down below for me. You can interpret this in any way you want to, but as this is a sci-fi fantasy box, I do feel that is very fitting. Whilst you're down in the comments, please don't forget to click the like button if you like this video, and the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content from me. Speaking of extra content, I have recently launched my Patreon, so if you do enjoy my videos and want to support me further, there will be a link to my page in the description below. By joining my Patreon, you will gain access to exclusive behind-the-scenes content, live readings, sprints, and live shows, access to my monthly Patreon book club, exclusive Patreon videos, and also early access to some of my regular videos as well. So if that sounds like your type of thing, you should definitely check out the link below. Other than that though, I am going to leave you here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. It truly does mean the world to me, and I will see you soon in my next video. Goodbye!